Yeah, so last time I drove this puppy, it gave me every engine code that you can get. Where's the, where, 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 there it is, there it is. There we go. So we're gonna go take a look. Most of the codes were probably related to this guy, my piggyback ECU. So we're just gonna work on unhooking that and see if that takes care of the problem. Then we'll hook it up again and see if the problem comes back. I'm thinking it just needs the old turn it off, turn it on again trick. So the uh, piggyback ECU interrupts this sensor over here and it interrupts this sensor over here. So I'm going to try to undo these and put them back to normal. Okay, so this is the factory plug. This is coming from the piggyback ECU and this is going to the piggyback ECU. So I'm going to remove this one. There we go. And then I have to get this out of here. There it goes. So that's the piggyback ECU there. We'll just kind of tuck that away. This back in the factory position. So again, this is the piggyback ECU, this is the factory sensor, this is the interrupt, and this is the factory plug over here. Alright, so that's that plug. Now this one is really fighting. to be working now. So now this is a basically how to install the piggyback ECU. There we go. So put this goes in here. And that goes on there. There we go. Back at the other side. This is the sensor we're going to interrupt. These are the wires for the ECU. We unplug this, plug that there instead, and then plug this plug into this receptacle. There we go. So now this plug goes in here. And the factory plug goes into there. like it just needs a little bit of coaxing in there. There we go. Okay, check engine light gone. Gotta do something about my tire pressure there. 